Good morning, Tartarian Hunters. How are you all going today? Another fucking hot day here in Melbourne City. So, hey, you guys have responded so awesomely to this idea behind me. I love it. So, of course, you know, part of the whole Tartarian March Forward is to go beyond <clears throat> breaking down the program, which you guys have already done now. Like, and for anyone new on this station, you're just going to be like doing it so quick because the hard work's done now. Now it's just the fun shit. Now you get to just like go and see it with your own eyes and keep being amazed at the deception, you know, um, like watching a, an amazing movie and it's sequel and it's sequel and it's sequel. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, like in summary, every single thing you've ever been taught about anything to do with our external world's a lie, a deception, everything's been inverted, like there you go, the end. So enjoy the Tartarian experience because it blows your minds and there's so much cool shit comes out all the time. Um, but we got to then ask what next universe, what's happening next? What is it we want to create? Because once we blow this Tartarian consciousness wide open in our own psyches, we are entering a place of what would be called in my head, the void, the void. When you look around and like everything you ever like thought was real is not and everything you thought wasn't real is, you end up opening up this space in your brain to, um, you know, start to look at, okay, the reality is therefore I am a creator God, human consciousness, organic consciousness, and I am responsible for creating reality. And I have just inverted my concept of what reality is. Therefore, how can I apply this to myself and the life I would love to be living? More so, how am I gonna contribute my amazing, fucking awesome, high-end IQ? Cause baby, you guys are high-end IQ. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You cannot get here without being smart motherfuckers. And you know that. You can't get here without being awesome human beings who have gone down the friggin' rabbit hole and come out and understood and fucking deprogrammed yourself. Congratulations, you fucking smart asses. <laughs> so my smart, smart friends, like what do we do next? What is now? And it can't just be like pretending, you know, that now we know this, life's just going to plot along like and we're just going to keep integrating and life will plot along and we're going to keep integrating because right now you're at the new chapter you're at a new initiation and that new initiation is to start participating and creating the new earth forward so a lot of the best 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 teachers who are speaking on youtube are all encouraging everyone right now to take their head away from disclosure away from the fear paradigm, away from the news, away from the media, away from the vax, away from um, the jab, away from it all, and start to put their awesome capacities into generating visions of a new earth. Now, the reason that I bothered to do these things behind me, I obviously am an artist and a graphic designer, so I have the capacity within my own skill set to be able to sketch out an idea and then bring in all the little icons and create it and produce you know basically a visual representation of what I'm talking about but that's just one thing that I've picked up in this lifetime you know I remember like way back like I took over a newspaper I dropped out of university um, because I got five ungraded passes in a row which means they didn't know whether to give me a high distinction or a fail they didn't have to fucking mark me I got five in a row and after that I was just like I can't be here anymore what's the fucking point I bought a newspaper um the age of 18 and then locked myself in my bedroom for three weeks and taught myself how to use photoshop which at the time was basically this big mother beast right and we used to have like these things called um zip disc for like these thick things anyway it was all very archaic back then but that was my first step on a computer I'd never even I had not owned a computer growing up um, I didn't even have an email back then, you know, it was all brand new. And we lived through all that. You guys, we lived through that amalgamation of technology back then. Anyway, so one of my skill sets was Photoshop and I forced myself to learn it, but that doesn't need to be your skill set. Your skill set at this point in your life is perfectly positioned for you right now, for what you need to output right now. What is that? 
what is it that you do that's amazing or that you love or that you know that you can do to output a vision of the new earth you know it doesn't have to be a drawing or a painting or a architectural plan it can be words it can be ideas it can be anything all right so one thing i'm going to start pushing the tartaria australia page and uh campbell's fucking on board with this he he's so there himself we're all we're all there um is to like actually move us forward into time a little bit and start to work on this new earth paradigm so I am um, working with Tui to find land and create a school, a new earth school. Um, and this is going to be picking up all a lot of the families who have been um, inspired to leave the cities and who have also had no choice but to take their kids out of school to protect them and now looking for alternatives. And this sort of model is going to be have popping up all over Australia, you know, this is what's so amazing about it, guys. Like, not only um, have we played witness to choosing our sovereignty so fucking powerfully now that no one will ever, ever, ever convince us not to stand sovereign anymore. Hello. Will you ever, 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 ever be convinced to take that jab ever? No. If you've got this far, you're like, boom, done. <laughs> we are organic consciousness. We are solid. We stand for God. <laughs> um, which means that there are a lot of families now who are like, okay, what next universe? So, you know, intentional schools, intentional communities, um, integrating regenerative agriculture all the way through this. Again, my background, integrating how to, to, to utilize animals and plants and soil. So it's a, a thriving system, you know, to integrate flowers and bees and the bugs and biodiversity and, and utilizing water and natural sequence farming and permaculture and all the beautiful juicy words of understanding nature amazing all going to integrate into these new communities these new schools these new structures these new local economies you know i'm a big fan of op shops you fucking know i love an op shop and i've owned five of them in my life and i fucking love them and anyone can start an op shop you can start an op shop anywhere in your garage in your shed anywhere and people will come people love an op shop especially an unvaccinated op shop right so I like first piece of advice, if you're going to start doing anything with schools or intentional communities or any form of local economy, open up an op shop. Everyone loves them, people will travel to them and it starts your resource pile, so to speak. <laughs> um, community cinemas, everyone loves them. One, the way that I started my little farm was an accident on this level. You know, I moved out to the middle of nowhere with my partner and another partner from Melbourne. And there was, we knew no one, there was nothing, hardly anyone. We lived in a little village of 36 people. We we're in the middle of the bush. And, um, you know, I decided in order to like create friends, I would have to make an action. So I was inspired to put on randomly a crystal ball meditation in the middle of the outback in the bush. Hello. I barely knew what crystal ball meditation was back then, let alone anyone around me. <laughs> and we, you know, I, I hand drew some flyers because there was no, there's no media out there, no newspapers. And I actually physically had to drive my car and actually put them into mailboxes randomly, right? And then I put them um, in a few of the like service stations, servos as we call them, servos. And um, yeah, it was on a Wednesday night, bad timing, um, in the middle of winter, terrible timing, freezing cold out in the desert. And um, I was blown away and amazed that, in, that on that one night, more than 50 people turned up. And they turned up from an hour and a half away in all directions because they had never come across an event that was aligned with their alternative thinking. And they didn't go to the pubs and they'd all been randomly scattered around the hills and around the area and community. And they had never actually had any reason to meet each other. And they all turned up on that night and met each other all for the first time, blew their brains that there was all these people there with similar ideas and thoughts. And um, in one night, a community formed in my backyard. And then that community was so blown away and so excited to be around like-minded people because it's all about community, guys. It's all about community right now. Like-minded people that they um, kept coming back. So once a month, I would hold um, uh, Under the Stars Bush Cinema where I'd put on two documentaries and I would cook soup from my garden and fresh bread and the community would come and then they'd spend the whole weekend there and we would build all weekend. And so this amazing community popped off in my backyard which is where, how I know how you can do this without very much. We built mainly from the rubbish tip, you know, that's what we used. Um, we, I built a stage for this little event and that stage became the cinema and that sort of became the hub of the, the area. I built a workshop kitchen so we could have events and feed everyone. I put in compost toilets so that people would go to the toilet. 
it was all relatively easy and cheap and amazing to watch build. And I know for sure, and then we added an op shop, and I know for certain that this can be done on a very low budget and can be done beautifully once you are around like-minded people. So this is a good place to start, right? Because how more like-minded are you gonna get than Tartaria Australia? We are a very small, very like-minded community. So I'm just getting on today to say, this is where I'm thinking. I want to start doing way more stuff into the intentional future forward space and live it out with you guys right now. So it is our now time. I'm going to have to, unfortunately, <laughs> but you know, we have to do what we're being inspired to do. I will put up a new website to do with um, this stuff, the School of New Earth and Intentional Creation and Tartaria Australia. And on that, I'll start by just adding a mailing list. So if you're interested in um, being a part of any of this discussion or um, con contributing to it or staying up to date with it, I'm hoping that we can form a wiring and firing community of intentional individuals, Tartarian individuals, amazing, across Australia, who are all sort of in the same mindset and like are looking at this sort of energetic and we'll put, get us all into a mailing list, hopefully, you know, hopefully tens of thousands. And from that perspective together, we will create the new earth and do it well and easily and share resources and be connected and basically have sister communities and brother communities. And like all of that, of course, is entwining with our support of our indigenous elders, because every single one of these intentional situations moving forward are gonna be based on sovereign original law of the land who is gonna be taught to us by our original wisdom keepers, which is why it is so important, everyone, that we maintain, protect, manage and stand by firmly our indigenous elders right now as they go through this you know, a, a apparent genocide. And I say apparent only because we know overall, because we're so up there with what's going on, this is, it is a movie, but at, ultimately it is happening. It is happening out there. We've got so much going on with our original people. So many videos coming out um, that we have to like send our intention to support them. Our intention is the key here. It's all about intention at the moment and community. So if we intend that we are taught original law and we are taught to live by the authentic law of God and the land and nature, because in nature we trust, then we must intend that our original people are not only safe and sound, not only have a whole fucking army behind them, which is us, but are also um, put back into the position of leadership, which they will return to in our lifetime. And that I know for certain. So Tatarian Hunters, that was just a quick random hyped up um, hello. And thank you for all your positive comments on this map. I'm pumped. I want to hear your feedbacks. Give me 24 hours. I'll whack up a website and then everyone who's inspired go and sign up to the newsletter so we actually can be in contact. Because you know, guys, like the more I stand up, the brighter I get and the more I get censored, it's gonna happen. It's happened to me so many times in this lifetime, this will be no exception. So um, yeah, let's form a newsletter. I can't publish on YouTube right now. Just for that like little like gesture with Cindy, we cannot publish, I can't at the moment. And um, I, you know, I'm gonna get worried about Facebook and this being our only point of contact. So. Let's do the email thing. All right. Hey, did I tell you that I loved you today? Because I fucking love you. And thank you for waking up and standing beside me, you smart motherfuckers. <laughs>